All right, y'all. Me and Stan the man, we out here at Henry's in our shanty. Just uh, getting some fish on. Uh, we got like an inch of water in here. You can hear it splashing around. I'll show you here in a second. But yeah, we caught, uh, so far we've caught one brookie, one cutthroat, and one really nice uh, cut bow. So stick around. You'll see it coming. Woo! Stand the man with a brookie. Yeah, buddy. Beautiful fish. Good job, brother. Thank you, sir. In this lake, they do. Need the light help? Look, he got a mouth like a salmon or something. Pointed. Oh, look at the spots in there. You see that? When the light hits it? Yeah, those blue spots. Yeah. That's what everybody likes. Woo! Got us a brookie! Yeah. Woo! Got a cutty, guys. Beautiful cutty. Unfortunately, I got him in the gill, so I'm going to have to keep him. I think I just heard another bell dinging. Better go check it out. Oh, Did I go working. too much on the drain? You want... Here, I'm going to reel up this other rod so that it doesn't get tangled. It's still slipping. Oh, it looks like you're already Oh, right there he is. Oh, he is a pig. Holy cow. Holy yeah. shit. Grab him, grab him. Oh, oh. yeah. Woo. Woo. Yeah. Whoa, is yeah. That a cutty or bro? That's a cut bow. Wing. Oh. Whoa. That's got to be like a 24 or 25 incher, bro. That's great, man. You got good taste? Woo! I told you he's a pig. <laughs> hey, yeah. We waited. We'll get a measurement on him for you guys. Yee! Oh, it's so All right, guys. We're going to send this, this pig back. Uh-oh. They're getting back in the hook. There he goes. Woo. Good That's job. Cool. Woo. Yeah, boy. Here's one of my jaw jackers that I made. So far, nothing on this jaw jacker. One of the jaw jackers outside, I caught a cutthroat on already. Uh, you can see. Got like an inch of water. Lake's coming up. So yeah, we got uh. Turn my batteries on. Did you turn the heater on? We got five poles inside. <laughs> we got another pole right here. Another pole, stands pole. And I got my other jaw jacker over here. So yeah, there's the jaw jacker that I caught a uh, cutthroat on. And I got another pole over there. So hopefully we catch some more. I missed three bites this morning. Missed them. Stan's got two. So, so far he's whooping my butt. Alright y'all. The fish done did turned off on us. So we're going to go and have some hot cocoa. Let me show you. And some donuts. See so, y'all, we got our water boiling straight from the lake. Boil that for about two to three minutes to be safe. I got my hot cocoa in there ready to go. Ew! Gonna get me a warm up. There you go, guys. Beautiful cutthroat. Probably uh, 22, 24 inches, somewhere around there. Let's get him on the leash. He flipped you out. They turned me loose. Must be good. This is it's a decent pig. 
I got one earlier and I put him back and now he caught another one. Well, it's the same one. You got your pliers on? Yeah. Oh, oh. Same place. Is that a nice one? Yeah. That's a hog. He just caught a big one like that, but it was a cutthroat on that side. Oh, really? And we put it back because we don't. We want to keep fishing. We each got one already. I got a big brookie in there, and then he had a smaller cutthroat. It's well, been nice. What are you guys using for bait? Just worms, and he got a little jig. Thing yeah, I got there. jig heads with like curly tailed jigs on them. So I might have to okay. keep him. It's we're from Montana, so. We've not really it's fished okay. down here. We've been down here about six months and yeah. figured we'd come give her a try. Best time because next week you guys release. Right. You, catch and release, so you can get your two today and, well, Sunday, Monday. Well, shoot, if they're that big, that's two dinners. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> These big fish have been thick and just healthy looking. I don't think we had any small ones today. Well, congratulations. He runs a, a video thing. What do you call it? App. He shows all this stuff. He yeah, films. so I'm just using a worm and a curly tail jig like that. Oh, okay. Bring one or whatever. Oh, it come off the string? Yeah, it broke off. Oh, he's sick. Yeah. There you go, y'all. Another big old cut bow. Up the Henry's. We got a pretty good lucky spot. We there found go, out guy. weeds in here. Oh. And I think they're in there feeding off the weed bugs and things. But we brought up one piece of weed and there was this little bug on there. How deep is it? Deep. About deep, 10 deep. feet right here. And we're I'm hanging it right in the weeds. Are you? Like maybe six inches off the bottom. The big ones will slam it. The smaller ones will just kind of... Yeah. Just like this, man. All right, guys, before we end this uh, adventure, I just wanted to show the baits that I was using for uh, to catch each one of these. So this one here caught the, uh, the big cutthroat. This one here caught the smaller cutthroat, the 20-inch. And this one here caught the, the big cut bow, 24-inch. Maybe 25. I didn't get measurements on them because I was just wanting to get those fish released as fast as possible. The bigger ones. Make sure they stayed healthy. And uh, I also I would tip them with a little bit of worm. Like a half a worm on the hook. So yep. Those are the baits I was using. Alright guys. I'm going to go ahead and shoot my outro because it's starting to get dark. And I don't want to be shooting my outro in the dark but... So far, I've caught in two cutthroats and that big old cut bow. Uh, cut bow was probably 25, 20, 24, 25 inches. Nice fatty. And Stan's caught that brookie and a big cut bow, probably 27, 27 inches. Just been out here in my shanty. No prostitutes today. <laughs> All right, guys. I need to get a GoPro so that I can uh, be able to v record video better for you guys. So go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Support the channel so I can be able to afford to get that stuff. Let's get it.